How are you my friends? This video is presenting the solutions of questions 1 to 11 from the 50 old exams review questions for algebra course lectures from 13 to 23. So this is part one and we have four parts to cover the 50 questions. Let's see question number one. I think you have tried this question, 6 over this is equal a plus b square root of 3. So the idea here is to rationalize the denominator. So when you rationalize, we have here two brackets. So we can rationalize each one. c square root of 3 minus 2, the conjugate will be square root of 3 plus 2 up and down. And this is 3 plus square root of 3, so it becomes minus and minus. Then you have to multiply and be careful. So six outside, this is the FOIL method. You just multiply, check the numbers. And here we multiply this, the first bracket with this bracket. So a difference between two squares, that's three minus four. Second bracket with this second bracket, nine minus three. So when you cancel the six, you have minus three minus square root of three. If you compare it with the given, a will be minus 3, B will be minus 1. Just add, you get minus 4. Now, second one, find the value of M if the graph of this circle is tangent to the x-axis. Now, first we have to complete the square on the circle. So we divide by 2 because we need the leading coefficient of x squared and y squared to be 1. So divide by 2, 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 divide by 2. Everything. Now, you know completing the square, when you divide by 2, you get 10. So take 10 divided by 2 minus 5, square it, add 25, subtract 25. Or you can add on this side 25, on the other side 25, that's the same. And now, uh, y squared 6y, divide 6 by 2, 3, and square it, you add 9, subtract 9. Or you add 9 here, and you add 9 on the other side, that's the same. When you simplify everything for the circle, you have x minus 5 squared, y plus 3 squared is equal 15m minus Seven. So there is a minus 25 and minus 9. Take it to the other side with the minus 41 becomes minus 7. So the center here is 5 minus 3 and the circle is tangent to the x-axis. Just imagine it tangent to the x. So the radius will be r will be the absolute value of the k. That's the k and that's the h. So you put the absolute value. The r is the square root of 15 and minus 7. Square both sides, you get 9 here. So take this on the other side. So 16 over 15 is the value of the m. Um. Question 3, solve the rational equation. I think I mentioned before, anytime you have a rational, rational means there are fractions, find the LCD, multiply on both sides by the LCD, then you will remove all the fractions. And then you have to check so you have to check here because we have a variable in the denominator. So this one already factored x minus one squared. So the LCD will be x minus one squared. We take the highest power and then x plus one. So multiply this LCD by the first term here. We get x minus one, x plus one. Multiply this LCD by this one over x plus one. We get x minus one squared, there's the minus. And here minus two multiplied by x plus one. Just simplify here difference between two squares. And this one will be minus outside x squared minus two x plus one becomes here minus one. And minus two x minus two. Cancel the x squared, bring the minus two x to four x is equal to zero. So divide by four x will be zero. Zero is a nice number, real number, acceptable but we have to check. Put zero in the denominator here, check. No zero in the denominator. So that means we accept the solution set will be zero, the x equals zero. 
Question number three, find the value of K if the lines are parallel. Oh, that's easy, I think, but there is a little trick here. See, we have Y, X, and X here. We have X, Y, and Y. Just we have to rearrange. Remember this word, rearrange this equation, rearrange this equation. The lines are parallel means they have the same slope. So I mentioned here, lines are parallel means the same slope. Let's take equation one. Solve for y, so kx, take minus 5x on the other side. We have here two x's, you see? So take x common factor. See, when you solve for y, this coefficient of the x after you solve for y will be slope one. Now, two, we have three uh, y, bring here three y, becomes six y minus 10x plus seven, divide by six, because we need solve for y. So minus 6, minus 10 over 6 here, and then divide by 2, minus 5 over 3 will be slope 2. Put slope 1 is equal to slope 2. Cross multiply, 3k minus 15 is equal to minus 5, so k will be 10 over 3. Easy question number 5. Find k if the quadratic equation has discriminant equals to 23. You know, discriminant the capital D sometimes we call it, or delta, it's B squared minus 4AC. So the only thing you have to find here is A, small a, coefficient of X squared, small b, small c. There is a little trick here I put on purpose, K equals one, you see? So bring here one equals zero. That's the only trick. So discriminant is equal to 23, B squared. This is B inside here, you see this B? minus 4a, a is the 2, c a is the 2, and c is k minus 1, all this is c, k minus 1 equals 0. Now just simplify the numbers here, 3 minus, you see minus 8 here and then plus 8 is equal to 23, so minus 8k is equal to 12, and then divide by 4, so k will be minus 3 over 2. Question number six is a little nice question. Complex fraction. See the complex fraction, anytime you see negative power, five a to the power minus one, one over a, and remember five has no power here, it's power one. Only my minus two here, the power minus two, only on the a, not on the 25. So just be careful, you will get the correct answer here. So let's use negative power. So this is a, see that's the question here. And the first one here is a minus five over a, see that one here. Down we have 25 over a squared minus a squared. Now let's simplify in the numerator. So a is the least common denominator. So this becomes a squared minus five over a. And this one, a squared in the denominator. So 25 minus a power four. Remember when we divide two fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal here. <clears throat> so a squared up, 25 minus a power four. Now we can factor this here, 25, five minus a squared, five plus a squared. Now a cancel with one of the a's here. So we have one a, uh, what else? A squared minus five, five minus a squared. We have seen this many times, like x minus y, y minus x, m minus n, n minus m. When you cancel, you get minus one. So minus a over five plus a squared is the correct nice answer. Number seven is a complex number. We have all this complex number minus another complex number. Division is equal to x plus yi. We need x times y. So the only thing we can think of, go to the left side here, Simplify it until you get standard. But be careful here. See, we have a fraction and there is a minus. So we need the same denominator. So either, either you change two minus three i as this one, three i minus two, or change three i minus two like two minus three i. So you have to change one of them, only one. Now let's look at the solution here. As I mentioned before, we have to change one of these denominators so that they are the same. 
So I leave 2 minus 3i, take a minus from this one here, it becomes minus 2 minus 3i. So now these are the same, but this minus with this minus becomes plus, because we multiply them. Now i to the power 73, the rule here we have to divide by 4, so it's 18 and we take the remainder. So the remainder is 1, so i to the power r, r is the remainder, i to the power 1 is i. So all this term here, i to the power 73, just put i. Now we have 11i plus 3, the same as 3 plus 11i, same. This is the same denominator now, 2 minus 3i. So we just add the numerator, 3 and 2 is 5, 11i plus 1 is 12i. Now I have to multiply by the conjugate, you see, of the denominator here. So 2 minus 3i, the conjugate will be 2 plus 3i over 2 plus 3i. This one you can multiply by STS, sum of two squares. 2 times 2 is 4, and this one is plus 9. This one like FOIL method, 5 times 2, 5 times 3i, 12i times 2, 12i times 3i. When you add everything, check it please, minus 26 plus 39i, divide by 13. So this is x minus 2 and y is 3. What do we need? x times y. So the answer is minus 6 for this nice question. Number 8, solve the equation by any method. Well, decide what kind of equation is this. When you look at the equation, this is a quadratic, but this is not arranged. See, there is a square, there is a 7, there is x, there is a fraction. So you have to rearrange the equation. You can multiply by the LCD, which is 3, see, just to remove the fraction. Anytime you have a fraction, multiply by the least common denominator, 3. And then you can expand this one, x squared, by the formula, x minus 6, x squared minus 6x plus 9. Bring 14x on the other side and minus 7 multiplied by 3 becomes 21. Simplify this, minus 12, this is 2, 18, this is minus 3. Now we have A, B, and C. So easy now. Look at this equation given. Look at this one after we simplify it. A is 2, B is 2, C is minus 3. Just plug in, in the formula, x equal quadratic formula, minus B plus or minus square root of the discriminant, B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A, and here we simplify square root of 28, take 2 out, 7 inside, take 2 common factor, divide by 2, the final, final answer, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 7 over 2. That's the solution. Now this one may be easier. Solve the equation for m in terms of x and a. Well, this is an equation where we have x, we have a, we have m, and some numbers. So there are three variables. So we cannot find the value of each, but we can say solve for m, solve for x, solve for a, it depends. Now the best one here, solve for m. Remember, you can cross multiply, but, but we have a problem here. I put it myself. If there is no, there is no minus two here at all. So easily cross multiply, but there is a minus two. So you have two choices. Either find the LCD, which is A times 4M plus 1, multiply everything, or combine here the fraction on the right side, combine the fraction with the least common denominator, then cross multiply. So you have two ways you can do it. Now, I have chosen, I said here again, cross multiply if there is two equal fractions. So this is not two equal fractions. Fraction equal fraction minus two. So I find the LCD 4M plus 1, multiply up and down. Remember here, the minus will change the signs. So the LCD here, 4M plus 1, and this is 3M plus 2, minus 2, which is minus 8, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 2. Now look here, 3, 8 is minus 5M, and 2 is cancelled. Oh my goodness. So look at this, X over A is equal simple, cross multiply. 4mx here plus x is equal minus 5am. Now we need what? m. So bring all the m's together here. 
on one side, you see all the M's, equals the other terms that, that have no axis, no M's at all. So minus X, take M common factor. So M is the nice answer here in green, minus X over 4X plus 5A. There is no M on the right side, should be. Question number 10 also, it has a nice idea. Find M if the quadratic equation has a double repeated solution. We know quadratic equation, they have two solutions. Sometimes they have one solution. You know the reason, you know why, you know when. If the discriminant is equal to zero, because plus or minus square root of capital D discriminant equals zero, then we have one solution repeated or doubled solution. So just put discriminant equals zero. We know what is discriminant, b squared minus four ac. Put m here, see a is m, b is minus m, and when you bring here, c is the five. Be careful about the signs. So m squared minus four m five. So we have m squared minus 20. Now take a common factor here because this is a zero already on the right side. M bracket, M minus 20. M equals zero, rejected. See, this is the same writing. It's no problem, it's correct here. Two times I copied here. So M equals zero is rejected. Why rejected? If you put M equals zero here, you have no quadratic at all. So rejected, it is not even accepted. So M equals 20 is the only answer. The last question in this part of the review, question number 11, find only the LCD of the following fractions. Little bit complicated here. So you have a big fraction, another big fraction, simple fraction. Well, to understand all this, Maybe you have to review some algebra course lectures on LCD, take simple numbers. Also, I have uh, put maybe three or four in the playlist called how to, simple questions, LCD numbers and variables. You can check there. The, the first thing you have to do, factor the denominator, factor the denominator, this is already factor two X cubed. Then when you factor it, you choose the, the factors with the highest power. See, that's the idea here. See here, take 40 out. You cannot find the LCD without factoring. Take this 40 out, so X squared minus 25. Now here, take 4X there, X squared plus 10X plus 25. This one, leave it. This one here, we can factor again. X minus five, X plus five. Leave 40 now also, we have to factor the 40. Eight times five, so two cubed. This one four X, two squared and X, and this one complete or perfect, X plus five all squared. Now we are ready to find the LCD. The LCD, the product of each prime number raised to the highest power. So there is one five, I take one five. There is two squared, there is two, there is two cubed, take the highest power. There is X, there is X cubed, I take the highest power. There is X plus five, X plus five squared, take the highest power. Only X minus five, I take it. So when you multiply everything here, you get 40 X cubed, X minus five, X plus five squared. Or you can put this one before, no problem. This is the LCD. So when you need to add and subtract, you have to use this least common denominator. Thank you for watching the first 11 questions. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. And I wish I can see you in another video with another parts and topics. Thank you very much.